Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, you guys already know we got some new parts in for Vader that with these two parts, in theory, we should be able to get those quarter mile times that we're looking for at this upcoming drag strip event. This is the last event in history of Houston Raceway Park. Matter of fact, 2K is going on right now, the last 2K in Houston. Let's just get straight into this video. Yes, sir. So we got Vader right here, as you guys can see. We have two packages on top of Vader right now. Number one, we have a 160 degree thermostat from Summit. I got this from the guys over at NRG. Big shouts out to you guys. And then right here in this box, I actually got my new P3 gauge from Wild Hammer Motorsports. Big shouts out to Matt over at Wild Hammer Motorsports because my guy pulled some strings to get this for me. I literally ordered it on Tuesday. Today is now Friday and they are made to order. So y'all, y'all think about that. you guys so this is what the inside of the box looks like we have the p3 custom integrated gauges i don't know what's in this box and then we also have this joint i think the gauge is in here i'm not sure i'm not gonna lie so you guys are gonna come along on this type in boxing with the kid let's get it all right so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pop this box open first Okay, so this looks like it's the gauge itself. So yeah, man, we got the P3 gauge right here. This is the unit itself. It actually sits inside the AC unit, as I was telling y'all in a previous video. And then inside the box, you know, you got your harnesses and whatnot. Nothing too crazy. And then you also got a sticker. Now for this box, the, I'm very confused. I don't know what this is. So this has to be the O2 sensor. Yeah. This is gonna be your additional O2 sensor. Sheesh. Looks like a little, oh, that's tough in here. All right, you guys, so again, huge shout out to my guy Matt over at Wild Hammer Motorsports and huge shout out to my guy Brandon and Christian over at NRG for getting me the thermostat overnight and then the P3 gauge in literally less than a week Shoe shout out to you guys. Um, we are about to get ready to do this install, but I'm not going to be doing it today just because I got some work to do after work. So we'll fast forward till tomorrow when I go ahead and install this. My AEM wideband took a crap on me, and um, yeah, it's not reading properly. I don't know if the O2 sensor went bad, or a wire is pinched, or anything like that, but it's not reading anymore. Um, as you guys just saw, it just sits like that, and sometimes it'll spike, and then it'll sit like that again. So, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> 
I'm gonna do my best to give you guys kind of like a step by step, but the first thing you're gonna wanna do is disconnect the gauge itself. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do, and then I'll move to getting the gauge pod moved out and the stock vent put back in, and then we're worried about the wires and whatnot later because I still need to wire up the P3 gauge as well. So let's just go ahead and get all of this disassembled. All right, y'all, moving kind of fast here, but got the gauge disconnected, got the stock vent put back in. Here's the gauge pod down here. The gauge is actually right here. And um, now we're going ahead and working on getting this AC vent removed. That way I can go ahead and take out the contents and put in the P3 gauge. And then, like I said, we'll get to the wiring part. All right, you guys, so in order to get this AC vent out, what you need to do is push in these tabs that go along the vent and then literally just push towards yourself and the vent will pop out of the dashboard as so and then you're going to want to remove your trim now i have the carbon fiber surrounding my trim you're going to go ahead and pop that out that way you can get the vent itself removed out of the entire assembly and you'll be able to plug in the p3 gauge all right y'all so i'm not gonna lie um you're gonna feel like you're about to break this joint when you pop this out but you literally just pull this out of the vent and it'll come out it's not bolted in or anything like that there's no clips and then for your trim piece like i said you're going to want to pry up on those clips and then just pull forward and this will pop off as well now we'll grab the p3 gauge and go ahead and insert it into the vent and we'll go from there all right you guys so i'm not gonna lie i really thought that i was about to break this thing but i just got off the phone with jake from p3 and he told me that that's how it's supposed to be so i was able to get this thing installed now we're going to go ahead and put on the carbon fiber piece and then reinstall it back into the dashboard all right you guys so i know it's been a minute um since i updated the vlog but i basically got the gauge connected um ethanol content is reading right now we're going to go ahead and pull this joint back um as far as air fuel ratio goes i got the o2 sensor plugged in and everything but i do have to calibrate it uh, to get it to go ahead and show on the gauge all right you guys so as y'all can see got the gauge connected this is actually day two i was able to reach out to jake over at p3 huge shout out to jake man super cool dude he taught me how to basically he walked me through the steps on installing the o2 sensor and getting it to connect so now as y'all can see analog one this is actually my wide band my air fuel ratio um i believe that i kind of messed up when i was telling him you know the properties that i wanted as far as the lambda goes he actually walked me through how to switch it over from the regular reading to lambda because nrg prefers lambda over the regular reading um now i kind of messed up i believe because it's reading higher than 1.82 or one point whatever it's actually as y'all can see is at 6.5 point so i'm gonna have to go through and manually change that again um but nothing too crazy as y'all can see we currently have e69 in the car kroger let me down man before they were reading at e77 almost e80 so i guess they got a bad batch in now and we have it in the car and we have we have just under half a tank of that in the car right now so yeah we're definitely gonna have to go for a nice long drive and burn all of that out um and then go to maybe heb and try to get some i'm gonna probably put like ten dollars and then see what the content is reading at and go from there but before I wrap this vlog up, I just want to give a huge shout out to Matt over at Wild Hammer Motorsports. You guys already know Wild Hammer is one of my sponsors and they've taken care of me tremendously. No matter what the part it is, no matter what it is that I'm wanting or inquiring about, they always take care of me. Super cool people over there, Matt and Nicole. Thank you guys so much. I don't understand how much I appreciate having you guys on board the team. And then I also want to give a big shout out to Jake over at P3, man. Super cool, down to earth dude, man. Literally walked me through the wiring process. 
and then also walked me through how to switch over from the regular reading to lambda which is what NRG prefers to use when tuning um, and running with the la uh, with the wideband so with all that being said man honestly the install on this I kind of rate it maybe like a 5 out of 10 if you guys are kind of unfamiliar with stuff like this, I will say, you know, try to get somebody who is familiarized with it or do your best to do your research before getting straight into this because as far as like getting the gauge inside of the car and everything like that, that's the easy part. But the wiring can be a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing, but basically what you're going to do is once you have, if you get the P3 gauge and you get the O2 sensor from them as well, on the O2 sensors module, there is a yellow wire, which is the signal wire. There's a red and a black wire, which is power and ground. You're gonna be using those three wires. Um, the yellow wire, the signal, is going to be spliced into the brown wire that is connected to the module for the P3 gauge itself. That way you'll be able to read your wideband and then as far as you know plugging in the wideband itself that is super simple literally just plugs into the module that they give it to you and then it plugs into the obd2 and it starts reading everything that you need um there is actually some cool features about the p3 gauge that i want to go over and i'll probably do in a separate video they have a zero to 60 timer they got a zero to 100 timer they got a 100 to zero timer for your brakes they got a i think it's a 60 to 100 um a 60 to zero timer as well all of these things we're kind of going to be you know doing in other videos because as you guys know i kind of want to get a look at the zero to 60 times on vader right now but as you guys know as y'all just saw we have e68 in the car so it's like pointless to do it right now i'm gonna just run the e out and then i'll fill it back up um i thought houston raceway park was gonna be open this friday but they're not it's actually next friday so i might go to hmp this friday which is the eighth mile track just to see where vader's at see if i can get the times a little better than what i did at the quarter mile i still have my time slips on my phone so i'll be able to compare what the car was doing in the eighth mile at Houston Raceway Park versus what it's doing on that current night so all that being said man I'm actually gonna wrap this video up here if you guys are new to the channel man do your boy a favor hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below and give this video a big thumbs up but without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro and I'll see y'all in the next one peace